Hi, I'm Sean Walker, an instructor at Casey Trees, and we're here today to continue our discussion about pruning. So we've done a reduction cut, and we've removed a lateral limb from a main stem. If you remember, during those cuts, I was taking off some of the excess weight with, with the pruners and just making it easier for me to work. Once your limbs get larger, you really need to take this extra weight thing uh, a step further. There's a method that's called the ABC cut, or the three-step cut, something like that, that involves three particular cutting moves. Here we have a limb. It's a little bit larger than what we were dealing with before. And if I were to just go right to my final cut, which I ideally would want to make somewhere down here, it might, might not be possible. This is a pretty tight spot right here. But if I were just to go right to that cut, and we're starting to get to work, let's say cutting from on top here, the weight of this limb as I'm cutting could suddenly cause the branch to start splitting and then eventually peeling down and it could actually peel the bark down into the existing trunk which we want to protect and keep as healthy as possible. So to avoid that you use, you use your ABC cut. The first cut, cut A, you choose some place along the stem far away from where you're farther away from where your final cut is going to be. And you actually make a cut on the bottom side of the limb. So I'm going to just make a cut right here. Maybe go about one third of the way at the most, really not necessary, into the limb. And so what you've done there is you've created a little stopping point if the weight of this limb starts to uh, split the branch and uh, starts peeling the bark. So now I'm free, just without any worries, just to take the excess weight of this limb off. So that's my number two cut right here, is actually taking the majority of the limb off. And you can see, it got a little messy. It may have started peeling down there, but it doesn't matter, because I'm going to be ultimately removing all this. And my A cut was there just in case that bark started peeling down, and it would have stopped it right there. No problem, didn't happen anyways, but it's a precaution. So now I have this stub remaining, and you can do your actual final cut, your intended cut that you're planning to leave on the tree. This is a challenging spot, so I'm gonna do my best. I wanna avoid that branch collar, but get as close as I can to it and make a nice uh, cut right there, ideally. But with saw blades and loppers, you're limited. So I'm actually gonna have to probably go up a little higher, maybe somewhere around here to make my final cut. I'm limited on the amount of blade that I can use to So unfortunately we're left with a stub here, but uh, this is the best we can do. Sometimes do the best that you can.